anti-death penalty rally about to begin on the south steps of the state capitol. The event capping off an unusual spring break road trip for several students. Fox News' Rudy Kosky live at the state capitol with the story. Rudy. Hi, Loriana. There are a lot of gatherings going on at this hour all across Austin to attract kids who are on spring break. But right behind me at 530, up there on the south steps of the Capitol, the shouts will not be for a band. It will be part of a rally called A Day of Innocence. A Texas Capitol hallway is certainly no spot for a spring break beach party. It was an email that brought these two University of Southern California students to Austin. If he had a free minute, we would really appreciate it. They're talking to Texas lawmakers and their staff about a life and death issue. It would set a precedent that other states could follow. Everyone's been extremely friendly. Uh, we collected signatures yesterday on petitions. Tiffany Scalia and Jenny Lee are taking part in what's called a day of innocence as an alternative spring break. It's part of a campaign to stop executions. Yes, it was definitely out of the blue. It was, I also received an email about this, and I decided I wanted to go. These USC Trojans are not alone. About 30 other college kids, as well as several high school students, made this Austin road trip. It was a full day involving panel discussions and news conferences. We decided to come to Austin to learn how to make a difference. Representative Rafael Anchia of Dallas was among those to get a visit. Yes, 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 yes. These faces, hallways, and doors are familiar for some. Houston Community College students Christina Ayobi and Robert Solis took part in the alternative spring break last year. To make a difference, to make a change, you never stop fighting because if you stop, then there's never going to be no change. And I believe that we are being heard. College students were not the only visitors with this anti-death penalty message. State lawmakers got to look into the eyes of three men who were wrongly convicted, locked away, and all three came very close to being executed. A resolution was passed in the House chamber recognizing death row exonerees Clarence Brandley, Albert Burrell, and Ron Keene. Members, when the system fails, it means we have failed. Along with the resolution, Representative Harold Dutton has filed legislation calling for a Texas death penalty moratorium. Getting the measure up for a House floor debate may not happen this session. Which is why more college spring break road trips down long legislative hallways will continue. Now, the bill by Representative Dutton calls for a two-year moratorium and also the creation of a special commission that will look into why wrongful com uh, convictions take place and how to prevent them. As for the rally, the rally will t uh, go on, start at 5.30, and will last until about 7 o'clock tonight. Reporting live at the State Capitol, Rudy Kosky, Fox 7 News Edge.